try this. Take a ball of clay or mud and keep it at the center of a table. Fix a pencil vertically in the clay ball in such a way that its sharp end points upwards. Fix a small plastic or sponge ball on the sharp end of the pencil. Draw a circle along the midline of the ball. Let this ball be your moon. Now place a large plastic or rubber ball at a distance of 10 to 15 centimeters from this moon. Let this larger ball be the earth. Draw a circle along the midline of this ball too using a pencil in the center. Let this be the equator. Keep the ball steady using a rubber or cloth ring. Arrange the balls representing the earth and the moon in such a way that the circle drawn on the moon will be in the plane of the equator of the earth. Take a torch, that is the sun. Hold it at a distance of about 30 centimeters from the moon. Direct the light beam on the moon. See figure. Observe the shadow of the smaller ball on the earth to understand how solar eclipse occurs.